Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium Web Driver videos. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to read data from properties file. So, why exactly we need this properties file? And we will see how exactly this will be very useful when we are working with Selenium. So, that is what I am going to demonstrate in this video. For example, when you are automating it or when you are writing an application code, if you want to store a value, what we will do is we will create a variable and we will assign the value into that variable, right? But consider an example where we have lot many number of values. For example, say you might be needing like 50 or 100 of values. We can't declare those many number of variables in our code and it is very tedious job and which is very hard to maintain those kind of situations. So with using properties file, it is very easy to maintain those kind of uh, key value pairs. Alright, for this demonstration, first I will explain you like how exactly we store these key value pairs in our reposit uh, properties file and then how exactly we can read that. And then later point of time, we will see <coughs> how exactly this is useful in our Selenium. So this is my sample properties file. For this, what this is a normal file. We can create it like, you know, you just create a normal file and just provide an extension dot properties file. All right, where we can keep these values like key equal to value. All right. Whenever you refer this key, which will return you this value. All right. So let's see how exactly you can store all these kind of key value pair combinations into this file, and we can easily refer these values by just providing this key value. Let's see how exactly we can do that with our Java program. So this is the file path. I am storing it into this variable. I am creating an instance of properties here as you can see. After that what I am doing is because this is a file path I am creating an input stream and I am providing this path. Once my once I get the file path object I am just loading this properties file by just using this load method. For this whatever the properties instance that I have with that properties instance, I am just using load method to the file which file object which I have created here. All right. Once you have this uh, properties file loaded, which is very simple to get any value. As you can see, I am just using this properties object and I am using get property method and whatever the value that you want to reference, you can just provide this name as you can see here I want to retrieve this value I'm just I just need to use this key value here all right by just calling this get property method which will return you whatever the key name that you have given here the corresponding value will be returned here all right so let me execute this state uh, this code and see what exactly is getting printed and then we will see how exactly which is useful for us as you can see the value got printed so the name the key value which when i provide the corresponding value is printed here all right now we will see how exactly we can use the same concept in your uh, in our selenium web driver right so <coughs> There are many applications where uh, the number of objects in a page are very limited. Like for example, if you go for any mobile mobile application, the entire screen will be consists of very few number of objects, right? Which will be having like 15 or 20 or 30 objects, right? So if you for that particular screen, at maximum we can see hardly we can see our 15 or 20 objects right so during those kind of situation not only in mobile application if you take any web application if the number of objects in a page are very limited then which is always better to use this properties file so how exactly i'm going to implement this 
so let me show you I have a very sample um, example here so for this what I'm doing is uh, uh, I'm just going to this website all right where in this website I have a couple of uh, objects in here I want to see this this is my a sample web application I have a couple of objects here how exactly we can store these descriptions uh, in this properties file and how exactly we can interact with these objects is what I'm going to demonstrate here <coughs> all right so uh, see I have my I want to enter some value in this uh, username so I need to have this description to be defined in this properties file as you can see uh, this has a name which is equal to username right I will be storing this like this so uh, for a better naming convention you just uh, give whatever the page it is you just give some this is the naming convention which I follow it is up to you to how exactly you follow in your scenario all right this is the uh, screen name and whatever the object you can just give this this is so entire uh, is what my key value now the only disadvantage or limitation with the uh, properties file is you need to provide a unique key value for the entire file for example if I have 100 or 50 like even you can store 200 or 1000 uh, key value combinations here but you should be providing a unique key property name in this file all right for that uh, in order to maintain that what I'm doing is I'm just giving whatever the screen name it is and this is the naming convention which I follow all right so here I'm just giving my page name or screen name and whatever the object it is all right so here I am using this name property and the corresponding value as you can see this name has a value of this right so once we have this object description we can write our own custom method which will return you the Web element right as you can see I'm just uh, from the above example I'm just using get property retrieve that value right so in the same way here uh, for this written, uh, written web element what I'm doing is I'm just passing this uh, key in my method what I'm just doing is I'm just getting the corresponding value by using this get property method now my object description will be having this entire value right for this what I'm doing is I'm just splitting see the first part of this is uh, before this comma is the locator which can be name class export ID whatever it is and the rest the remaining part is what is the value of that uh, locator right so here because I am using this name locator and the corresponding value is username right so I'm just splitting this and where I will be getting this uh, as you can see here I am splitting by comma in your case you can use whatever uh, character that you want which can be a colon st star whatever it is all right so I am just splitting it based on this comma where the first parameter will be holding the locator and the, the remaining part is my object description as you can see this is my locator now and the corresponding value is this all right so once I have my locator methodology then I can see whether it is an X path or ID or name class whatever it is by just identifying this uh, locator I can retrieve that value right so I just use driver dot find element if it is an X path dot uh, by dot export and the corresponding description which will return you the web element once it returns this web element we can do whatever we want as you can see here because that is a web data I just want to enter something in that file right so basically we can write this custom kind of method this is a single method which can return web element for any kind of locators right so once you return that web element you can perform whatever operation you want 
so let me execute this and show you how exactly what is getting been done in this application so as you can see switch navigates to the site and entered username right so like this we can use just this kind of a very small custom method where we can retrieve any values this properties file can have any number of values as per your application and we can very it the value can be retrieved very easily by just using this method all right so if you are more familiar with uh, now developing the framework or something then even you need not to return this web element which is uh, this is a kind of for this demonstration i have used this but even you do need not to return um, like this rather if you want to set a value you can write a method like set value or something and you can provide this kind of uh, the same variable all right so in this method what it should the set this what this set value method should do is it will return you some web element all right something like web element ele and which will return you whatever the web element and you just see uh, ele of uh, dot send keys and whatever the value that you want you can enter that value right so this kind of uh, method if you use this kind of approach right which can you can build your framework very easily so i hope you understand like how exactly we can store these values in properties file and how can how we can reference them in our code right so to summarize so what we have to do is whatever the key value pairs that you want you can keep it in your properties file whereas you can just create we need to create a properties object and you need to create a file system object to reference the path of this object pro, um, properties file and this load method will load the entire key value pair which will be basically linking between the properties file and uh the file system object and and then you can reference the any key value pair combination by using this get property method of that key value which will return you the value of that key right so uh, that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video if you have any queries you can reach me on my mail id udayanam at the red gmail dot com and for all ordered list of selenium videos you can go to selenium web driver videos dot blogspot dot com all right so thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you